Did you know that 40% of all households in the United States have a charcoal grill? Now I get it, charcoal grills can be a little bit intimidating. I was there once, but I'm gonna show you how to cook with charcoal, and I'm gonna show you that you don't need all these fancy things to cook with it and make something absolutely freaking amazing. And I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. So I like to start with a clean kettle. As you can see, I've got some ash, leftover stuff from a previous cook. And if you look down in there, you're gonna see some vents. When I move this back and forth, you see this vent? All that's doing when I go like that is it's simply moving our ash down into the hopper below. Let's check out below. Now it's time to clean that kettle. So to do that, I just go back and forth with this. After a while, this is what you get. <laughs> Look at all that. I'm gonna load up right here, a bunch of charcoal. To light our charcoal, I just got this thing right here. It's a, a Duraflame Firestart cube. I'm just gonna put it down here in the bottom. And I need to have some access here, but I just wanna start building up around it. Now you could take, one of my favorite things, you could take a paper towel and put some oil on it, vegetable oil, any kind of oil, vegetable oil type thing, and it will help it burn. It'll slow down that entire process and you'll get it going there, but these charcoal lighters are the best. One match. See that, it just lights right up freaking perfect. Just kind of stack around it. Now still getting that oxygen because we've got the top open, but it's going to cook these charcoals down. Now I know what you're going to ask. Dude, why not just some lighter fluid? Well, tell you what, I don't like the flavor of it. Now, when I'm sitting out here in my backyard and I smell somebody light a, char a grill, charcoal grill, I can tell if it's you know done the way that we're doing it right here or if it's like a match light stuff or they're using charcoal fluid and imagine the flavor if you can smell it in the air imagine the flavor that this is leaving on your burger your chicken or whatever nasty stuff so that's why i don't go with it if you want to go for it i don't like it there you go i'm gonna sit here and watch some tv because it's going to take a while if I were to use this charcoal chimney, the same process, it's going to take half the time that doing it with our charcoal is going to do. The key to cooking something absolutely amazing over charcoal is temperature control. And that is the vents that we have on the top and the bottom. I've got an aid here that I think is pretty important to have, and that's basically a thermometer. Now, you can get a Bluetooth thermometer. They're great. The only problem is I have with a Bluetooth thermometer is once that lid's closed and there's metal, it doesn't really work that well. These are not Bluetooth. Actually, these are very much independent in the fact that it just plugs into the side like that. You turn it on, you turn the other one on, and they start talking. Literally at this point, it's been 30 minutes. We're still smoking, which is kind of crazy. Remember we were talking about temperature. Well, this is what I was talking about, how we're gonna be able to watch what we're doing. We're looking for 400 degrees. So right there, I got it plugged in onto the grate. I'm gonna turn this on. It says on, it's gonna give me the temperature. Right now it's about 151 degrees. I'm gonna hook it onto here. And I'm gonna cap this. And I'm gonna watch right here till it gets to about 400 degrees. All right, got our chicken on. We're gonna go directly right over the top. I'm gonna sprinkle it with what I call some dew dust. And it's just salt pepper. Cover it back up and we'll watch it for about five minutes, see where it's at. Okay, five minutes. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this or not, but this is the other thermometer I have. It's a digital thermometer. I just like to put it in at an angle and see where we're at. That says we're at 157 degrees on the meaty side. 
go on this side, we're at 153 degrees, which is fine, but I want 165, so a few more minutes. Another three minutes, let's check our temp. Coming in 167, one, yeah, about 168. I like it. Oh, 163. That'll continue to cook. And the back end here, we're ended at about 163 again. So that's going to continue to cook. I'm going to take it off. I'm going to let it rest for about 10 minutes. It's going to continue to cook, and then we're going to eat it. So there you have it. There is charcoal cooking down and dirty. Just, it works, right? I mean, this piece of chicken looks amazing. Mmm, nice and juicy. Dang. Oh, I got salt, pepper. Oh, I put on it. The things you need to do it, there's your grandkids for one. You need a thermometer. I have two sets. Next week, we're gonna go with how to light charcoal using a charcoal chimney because it is the way to go. And then we're gonna use charcoal baskets. I'm gonna show you how to use those because we are going to make dad the best hamburger he's ever had. Then after that, for actual Father's Day, we're gonna make him the absolute best steak he's ever had, you and me. So, see you on the next episode. You know how to grill now. Get out there and do it. I'll see you soon. Oh, remember, please remember to like, subscribe, talk to you later. Peace, guys. Bye. Not bad. We're about four minutes into it, and the temperature stabilized at about 390, which is perfect. Now, we're going to sit here and give it another minute, and then we're going to check that chicken. Yeah. Well, five minutes is down. Looks good up top. Flip it over. Hey, that looks really good. All right, we'll get five minutes, then we're going to check the temperature of our meat. Check out that temp. About four minutes into another minute, we need to check that chicken, but this time it's sitting at 388. Perfect.